Another bag, another mystery ingredient. It's a mystery to us. It actually really is. Mm -hmm. This yes. is not a lie. This is real. This is not staged. We have no idea what's happening. No, it's New York Times. This is it's New York Times, maybe. Journalistic integrity. Yeah. We have returned. We're here. We're going to make dinner and dessert in an hour with a mystery ingredient. And it will hopefully be tasty. Last time the mystery ingredient was bananas. There aren't a lot of ingredients that I hate. Banana and coffee, two of them. Mm -hmm. There's really one other big ingredient that I really hate. You should tell them what it is. I'm, sc I'm scared to say it out loud. I'm gonna no, see. No, but I think that what you think it is is what it is, so I feel like we need to have it on record that you guessed it. Do you wanna write it down? Okay, you have to make sure they don't peek. They can't see this. <laughs> There's a part of me that's actually kind of hoping it is just for the... Don't say that. <laughs> save that for later. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yep, already. I'm already... Uh, yeah, I think I'm... No! No! no. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're totally wrong. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is this like a can of tomatoes? I think it's definitely like a jar or something. Pickles? Maybe. I feel like it's pickles. Pickles. Nailed it. Pickles, pickle dessert, guys. <laughs> that, this one's hard. There's so much you can do with pickle dessert. Pickles and peanut butter. That's gross. I want fried pickles because I want fried pickles. Fried pickles with ranch. That's not that's dinner. That's dinner? No, that's not dinner. That's something we're gonna make. There's not enough time to marinate anything in the brine. There is if you do fish, because you, you just brine it for 15 minutes. Can we do black cod? Yeah. Wet brine the cod in the pickle brine. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a lot of brine. Wait. Brine. Uh, brine. Brine. Yeah, brine. We're Wet brining brine. the cod in the pickle brine and kind of do, take the flavors of tartar sauce and kind of blow them up. Dill, pick chives. Cucumber. Cucumber. So a cucumber salad. Yeah. Can you boil potatoes in the brine and make salt crusted potatoes? Yeah, I don't see why not. Will good. there be more pickles? We may need more brine. I think we'll need more. <laughs> we, we're going to end up needing more brine than pickles. Okay, dessert. Let's eat a pickle. I have to think about this. Like, can we think about the pickle as a fruit? No. It's not a fruit. Pickle upside down cake. Pickle tart de tin. What kind of cake? High ratio, reverse creamed vanilla. Vanilla. Is that weird? Well, it's all going to be weird. It's whether it's going to be tasty weird. Okay, so the plan is we're going to do black cod marinated in pickle brine, broiled with what, just honey? Mm -hmm. Just honey, pepper, pickle brine potatoes, tartar sauce inspired pickle and cucumber salad, and then pickle upside down cake. That what what could go wrong? It's pickles. Well, the cake takes 45 to 55 minutes to bake. So, you know, the first thing we're gonna do is just try and get that cake in the oven so we can hopefully make some fried pickles. Yes, with ranch. Yes, but those are, that's like secondary because that's not dinner. It's not secondary in my mind. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. Sorry, okay. We're doing this. I'll see you later, I'm gonna borrow the salt. This is gonna be a reverse cream cake, which means you mix the butter with the sugar and flour. I really like these cakes because they have a really nice, dense, plush crumb, which is what I want out of an upside down cake. So we're gonna actually do it together. Ham's gonna prep the pickles and cherries while I make the cake batter and caramel to get into the oven, hopefully on time. Whisking up my dry. So the biggest thing people make, make a mistake with this cake is they under mix it. If you under mix, the batter doesn't get emulsified and it can be like, kind of bake up a little bit greasy and dense. Wow, that was fast, wow. We need this cake in the oven. Now I'm gonna cut up some pickles that's gonna okay. go right next to those cherries in a cake because this is what we're doing. We're making pickle cake. <laughs> we're using the egg yolks from the other day. No yolk goes to waste. No yolk goes to waste. We're just eyeballing the caramel. I think this will be enough butter. Vanilla like a lot of vanilla. My hands are gonna smell like dill pickles for days. You gotta scrape the bowl, scrape the paddle. I want the butter and sugar to get bubbly and melt. Come on, brown sugar clumps. Brown sugar doesn't like caramelize in the same way as white. 
So it's more like a toffee, butterscotchy vibe than a caramel. Slice pickles. Oh, thank you. Next order of business, I'm going to get these potatoes cooked in some pickle brine. And I'm hoping that as it reduces, it'll kind of crust the potato in that like Spanish style salt crusted potato deal. Maybe this is too much caramel. Oh gosh, now I think I went too far in the other direction. Yes, I did. I'm gonna remove some. Too much regrets. And now that our potatoes are on, I'm gonna brine our black cod in some pickle juice. What's our time? 49 minutes. I think I might just get this just barely on time. The pickled julienne. Yum. Perfect amount of pickles, Ham. Wow. Did we nail it? It's not like, it's like we talked about this for hours or something. Whoa, look at that. Look at that ratio of pickles to cherry. It's like a dream. Yeah, it is. I got cod brining potatoes going. How are you looking? Batter's going down. Batter's going down. Batter's looking good. That looks really good. Hey, Ham, can you get the oven? Mm-hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Look at that cake. That looks really good. I'm excited. <sighs> okay, what's next, Ham? Herb picking for the salad. Herb picking for the salad. Your favorite. Should I just wash it all? Yeah. 45 minutes. 45 minutes? minutes. Hey. Whoa. Just, just cruising. Should I slice pickles for frying? Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll make the dredge. Taking my time. Yeah, there, we, got, these, we got all the time in the world. These are the pickle ends if you want a snack. Oh, we can get a preview of what the cake will taste like. <laughs> Not terrible. We're just chilling. Yeah. 35 minutes. Oh, we should probably start focusing. Should I make ranch? Do it. Okay, we are really big fans of homemade ranch. And I think the key for us is always a little buttermilk, dill, and onion garlic situation. Yeah. But like, you can play around with that a lot. In the spring, when there's like ramps and garlic scapes and stuff like that, we make a ranch using all of that stuff. So good. Really I think good. in the spring, we only eat ranch. We just yeah. like make tons and tons of ranch and it's, it's very good. My fish is out of the brine. Fish is out of the brine. You know what might be cool? Okay, if the potatoes are cooked in time, mm -hmm. do you think we could smash and crisp them? Ooh, yeah. I like to make my own ranch popcorn seasoning with dried herbs and nutritional yeast. There was a point where I was eating too much popcorn, so now we like limit it. It was a problem. Yeah, it was so a problem. So we, we have to put yeah. quotas, popcorn yeah. quotas. It has to be a movie night. Like if, if left to her own devices, she will have popcorn for dinner four days in a row. It's a vegetable. A lot of work's going into these fried pickles, which weren't part of the original menu. More work than, I, I feel like we're spending more time on these pickles than the cake. What's our time? 27. Since you're finishing up everything, I'll fry. Yeah. I'm gonna make the glaze for the cod. You know what's also really good? Ranch labna. Cultures colliding. <laughs> That's what New York's all about. So, you wanna switch places and I'll start dredging? Yeah. What's the oil at? 370. Preparing the fried pickles. First coat in our starch. There are a few things as satisfying as slicing chives and with a, with a really nice sharp knife. All of our knives are dull. We haven't sharpened them since last March. Uh, why isn't this broiler on? It says high. Uh-oh. It says broil oh, high. Start. Sorry. Oh, okay. <gasps> it was not preheated at all. Okay. Whoops. How much time is there? 18. Wow. Got three minutes to preheat. For pre it to preheat? Yeah. How are you doing? How's everything going over here? Good. I'm about to get the fish in the cold oven. What's your plan for the potatoes? You think you got time? Yeah. As okay. soon as this is in the oven, how many, how much more pickles do you have to fry? Two batches. Okay. 13 minutes. 
15 minutes, nice. Two extra minutes, guys. So when you're frying pickles, you don't want them to be, they don't need to be like dark, dark? I don't think they'll get super dark. They feel crisp. Scott, we're on a time crunch over no, here, and you're no. over here I criticizing the color of the pickles. <laughs> Cake's coming out. Cake's coming out. We at least will have cake. We will have cake. Never mind. It needs like five more. <laughs> there. Those are a little darker. What Good do you think? <laughs> are you happy now, Scott? Are you happy now? Oh, these are even darker. Whoa. I'm gonna take a spoonful of your ranch to season ah. the sour cream for our smoosh. You want me to do something with the potatoes? Yeah, could you smash them and fry them, please? Yep. What's our time? Eight minutes. I think it's gonna be kind of down to the wire. Just tell us like every minute. Cake is out, right? Yeah, I just gotta flip it. Cake is out, just needs to be flipped. So we're just waiting on fish. Waiting on fish. Six minutes. Hey, it worked. It worked? It became a cake. It became a cake. What's the time? Five minutes. There's enough pickles for everybody. Whoa, you're going for a final sear? Yeah. Ooh. There we go. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. This was a good last minute call, him. Yeah. One minute. One minute. Down to the wire. Down to the wire on this one. We did faff around a bit. Uh, a a bit. touch. There was some faff. There was some faff. We did it. We did it. Look at that. <laughs> We're done. 15 seconds to spare. 15 wow. seconds to spare. Does this make up for all the times I went over last season? <laughs> we made it. We did it. This was a smooth ride. It was still a ride. I really like the fried pickles. I can't stop eating them. Ooh. Especially with that creamy, herby ranch. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so good. Broiled cod is like once a week dinner for us. Ooh, that is a nice, crispy skin. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. It just melts. I feel like the pickle brine like kind of firmed up the flesh in a nice way, so it's yeah. just not like mush. Pickle brine is something we always have and usually don't use. So I think brining fish and pickle brine is like really mm -hmm. cool. I think people should try it out at home. Built-in acid. Yeah. Salad. Salad. When you mix all this together, it tastes like tartar sauce. Really crunchy and bright, and it doesn't really weigh you down mm -hmm. and coat your palate like tartar sauce can. Yeah. The potatoes are fine. Yeah. I think I would have liked it more if we went with the original plan, cooked it all the way down, and got that salt crust. Yeah. Hey. Look at that. That's, that's a, a good looking cake. It's a nice crumb. It looks great. So the only thing is, is this pickle caramel weird? It's not weird. Not weird at all. I feel like the caramel completely neutralized the pickle flavor. Yeah. Overall, I think this is much better than the last round. We <laughs> redeemed ourselves. Definitely, yeah, I feel redemption with mm -hmm. this. I am, I'm pleased with this meal. Everything we had today, I would eat again. It will be a fillet, but I kind of want to just draw a fish. Fish. Mm -hmm.